Hi, Forrest Day Jr. here. Today on Rolling Tape, we have an author, filmmaker, strategist. His name is John Reese, and he's going to give you some great advice on how to properly distribute your film. Let's roll tape. This episode brought to you by Spoof Dance Film Festival. Make parody commercials and bring the funny. I'm a filmmaker. I've been making films for 30 years. And um, when uh, my film Bomb It, which is about graffiti all, all over the world, was at Tribeca, that's around the time that the market collapsed. And I ended up taking the film out in a what I call a hybrid path. And uh, people saw me doing that um, and said I should write about it because they hadn't seen anyone do that before. And so I started writing and it seemed like I was able to take a very complex system and explain it very simply to people. And out of that grew the book, Think Outside the Box Office, which I wrote a number of years ago. And because also filmmakers were saying, oh, can you help me do this? Can you help me do this? And I figured, you know, I'm still a filmmaker. Here, I'll make a manual and everyone can go and do it. And then what I found is that people still wanted me to do workshops and wanted to explain it verbally, and then people wanted to work with me one-on-one. -on -one. So even though I've um, directed and produced since I wrote the book, um, right now I'm mostly focusing my life on helping other filmmakers get their films out into the world. I either consult or now also you know, help supervise filmmakers' releases or actually engage the releases directly. And, um, and I get a lot of satisfaction out of it. I really love it. And I love working with filmmakers and helping them, you know, because for, for a lot of filmmakers, this is the toughest thing, you know, that, and they have no idea what to do. And I really enjoy being able to help them, you know, and what's that's kind biggest, of like my current, it's my current life's mission. <laughs> well, what's the biggest mistake you see a lot of filmmakers uh, doing when they're distributing their films? Well, the biggest mistake, a couple, uh, there's a number of mistakes. One is, first of all, not planning for distribution even before they make their film, you know, and especially during, while they're making the film and even after. And I, all through the process, you can be planning for this and especially understanding, um, you know, and there's a number of things to understand and usually, and I'll just break it down. And this is, people don't, understand these basic principles at any stage of the process, it's a huge mistake. First of all, what are your goals? You know, understanding what your goals are from the release of the film. Like what is going to be a win for you in getting the film out into the world, knowing what that is. Also along with that is having realistic expectations because it's a very crowded market, marketplace out there. Secondly, understanding who your audience is. Um, and even, you know, I'm not necessarily saying people have to know who their audience is before they write a film. I think you might be more successful commercially if you do that, but at least after you've written the film or while you're making the film, trying to have an understanding of who the audience is, that can change over time and try to, and then connecting with that audience. Um, third thing is to not understand that you need to allocate resources for distribution and marketing. Um, and um, so that's, um, you know, that's, a huge mistake because a lot of people come to the end of the filmmaking process and go, oh my God, I'm so exhausted from making the film and financially I have, what do I do with my film now? And there's, you know, maybe 1% of films these days have a distributor come in and say, great, here's a bunch of money and we're going to take your film and we'll release it for you. Mm -hmm. One, maybe 5% of films, maybe. So what do the other 95% do if you haven't planned and prepared for this? Um, and then lastly, I think it's really important to understand how your film fits with, how any film or project that you do fits into your overall career and have some sort of sense of that. So, yeah. How does someone go about um, understanding their audience? Um, you may have this great idea in your mind, but how can you narrow down that audience? Um, you know, A, potent, either thinking about, you know, just trying to think about it. Secondly, you know, you can, like, part of the reason that casting is such a big issue, especially for narrative films um, or for fiction films, is because those people already have a built-in audience. And that's why you cast them, because they have a built-in audience. Um, so what you need to do is think a little bit more outside of the box. What kind of other elements can you bring in, story elements, um, even different kinds of casting elements, whatever elements you have, that might engage an audience, a specific audience. Um, and then if you can't think about it yourself, then you bring on someone like me to help you with that. 
And the earlier you bring on someone like me to help you with that, usually the better because it's the longer the process takes, the longer you're into the process, the less you can do to infuse a project with things that might engage an audience um, or to have a sense of the audience. And then that's going to change. Like you may think that your audience is one thing while you're making the film and you bring it to a festival or you start bringing it to festivals or you start showing it to people and then they go, wow, this is for these people, not these people. Um, you can also have other people read your script and people who you know you respect and ask them, you know, even who do you think this movie's for? You know, get some other opinions from other people, even if it's not me, you know, seek other people and not outside of your friends and family, like, you know, people who are really going to be critical. Um, I think another fil uh, mistake I see is that people release films before they're ready, you know, and before, and especially I see f people finish films before they've sh shown their film to an audience. And, um, you know, I think it's really important to, along the way, show the film to an audience so that you can get feedback and see whether the film is having the intended effect that you want. If it's, you know, whatever that impact that you wanted the film to have, whether not necessarily a social impact, but even an emotional impact, is the film working? Um, because you pretty much can get it out once into the world, have to watch it once, and if it still is not ready, the worst thing you can do is start sending it out into the world before it's ready. And I see that quite a lot. So how do you pull your audience? And that's why I, I tend to, rarely do I get, I love to get involved in projects at the very beginning. That often doesn't happen. Mm -hmm. um, but I love to at least get involved in post-production um, and at least make sure that filmmakers are doing, you know, getting their films ready in the proper way. Okay. Uh, say the film is done and um, they haven't contacted someone like you or or anything but now they show it to their audience how do you pull the audience how do you how do you get this information from them make you know you write up a survey and you know some of the survey can be about the film and like what works what doesn't work you know what they like best what they like least you know is you know if you have questions about the film you know like is the opening too long is it you know whatever specific question and then i always recommend filmmakers do another that used to be the old way you know, just doing that, and that's still important. But I also recommend that filmmakers, you know, ask, you know, you know, what are your hobbies? What are your interests? Um, what social networks do you use? Do you go see movies in the movie theater? How do you watch movies? You know, to find out, you know, um, you know, for the people who really like your film, you know, how do they engage with media? How do they find out about it? You know, how do they, you know, all those different more marketing type questions. So to use those screenings, not just for feedback on the film, but for as mo as marketing surveys as well. So if someone's finished a film, it's, it's not too late to get distribution, but it's better to get it up front. How mm, detrimental really, is it? Well, yeah, I'll just correct that. It's very difficult to get distribution before you make a film. I mean, the only people that that happens to are filmmakers who are very tried and true you know, have received distribution before and been very successful. So um, generally, you know, the vast majority of filmmakers are not getting distribution before they finish the film. You know, for most filmmakers, for most distribution, they want to see the film first before they're going to commit anything to it. So, um, you know, and that's why I would say before you finish your film, you want to, you know, try to make your film as excellent as possible because the film itself is one of the strongest marketing tools that the film has you know, besides poster, title, trailer, the film itself and is the is one of the key marketing elements that you have. So anything that you can do to make your film better, it's such a competitive marketplace, anything you can do to make your film better before you're finished, you should definitely do. Okay, and this information's in your book, uh, Think Outside the Box Office, correct? Yeah, I'd say most of it's in the book. You know, I'm trying to think of everything that I've just said. It's pretty much all in the book. Yeah, yeah, it's uh, in the book. Think where, can, the box uh, folks, where can folks buy the book? They can buy it from my website, which is johnreese.com. It's also available on Amazon. Um, if you buy it from my website, you'll be on my email list, and I send occasional updates and kind of further information. Um, and... Um, uh, what was I going to say? Uh, well, if somebody wants to get a hold of you about, um, say, where they're planning a film and they want to talk to you or yeah. hire you or whatever, how can people get a hold of you? Either through johnreese.com or actually I'm going to be splitting it off. I have a company called Hybrid Cinema, 
So hybridcinema.com, H-Y-B-R-I-D cinema.com. And, um, you know, that's how people can reach me. But you can always find me and reach me through johnreese.com as well, which is, you know, I guess will be spelled here. It's J-O-N-R-E-I-S-S. So, yeah, that's how people can reach me. I'm very accessible. Okay. And then uh, at what part in the uh, filmmaking process should somebody reach out to a guy like you? I mean, I like to re talk to people as early as possible, you know, because there's a lot of things in production. I find that filmmakers come to me and here's another mistake, have not prepared proper assets during production for distribution. Um, and that can be everything as simple as still photos, which most filmmakers generally still have terrible still photos, unfortunately, to even extra content that you can use to market the film. So um, just having a sense of planning, like I'm working with a filmmaker now, which I love, and you know, they're, um, they haven't, they've done some production, but it's a documentary that they've done part of the production and they already, in their finance plan, they have a distribution marketing budget, which they approached me about and I looked at it and it needs a mat, and one of the things I'm doing for them is overhauling their distribution and marketing budget. Um, and um, they use the one that, ones that are in the book, but things have changed since then, and so you know, I'm, I'm overhauling that for them, and plus I'll be giving them advice on this kind of asset creation, et cetera, through the process of making a film. Okay, thank you, John. That's a, a yeah. lot of great information. Well, thank you. Thank you for having me on board. Thanks for watching this episode of Rolling Tape. <laughs>